Friends, we are about to dive into the last two episodes of One Punch Man. Uh, Ovas for season two, or specials, really, they're, all, they're called. Which kind of, I guess, has us all cut up on the One Punch Man material. I don't think there's any movies. Uh, if there were, when I typed in One Punch Man, I'm sure it would have come up on the website that I'm at. It didn't come up, so there's probably no actual um, movies, which is unfortunate. Uh, I would love, gosh, more material. And this is one of those shows that, hey, hey, we want more material, but for whatever reason, it's kind of stuck in limbo, which sucks. But season uh, one and two are both great. Season two, in terms of storyline, was just super strong. Um, the material that the, I guess, new production company got a hold of was just uh, juicier, uh, more rich, a bit more fun. And so they had a lot of great material to work off of. The characters were super cool. The storyline was, like, amazing. And in terms of, like, hey, the animation's not as good as season one, um, there's not, it's not really noticeable. Just little details here and there, and you probably wouldn't even realize, um, what, if something was off-putting about a scene, in terms of animation, you probably wouldn't have realized what it was. It probably would have been, like, Wait, well, what was weird about that scene? That was weird. But it was like, but what was it? So, um, it's nothing to complain about at all, really. Barely noticeable. All in the small, minor details. But there are little moments that just, you know, it's still fun. It's still a fun show. It's still a fun season. And I like it. And it is what it is. There's really nothing else for me to add. Don't forget, Layback Camp will be our new Anime Thursday anime, even if it doesn't come out. I mean, it, I think it comes out on Thursdays, so it might not. my reactions might not, might not themselves come out on Thursdays. We'll see. What's cool about anime reactions is that if it airs on a Thursday, if it comes out on Thursday, it comes out online on Thursday, which is great, versus live-action shows where, especially on CW ones, where it, has, it airs that night on a Tuesday, I have to watch it on a Wednesday and then do some editing and then maybe getting out that day. So those two days are for a reason. Um, if I can't get Layback Camp out um, that day, I will try to get it out by two days. Um, and it's easier with anime, especially because they're so short. How I edit it is easier. Hopefully these up these uh, reactions of the, of the rest of my One Punch Man reactions will export and upload well. Uh, some of me fighting with them. Uh, I didn't really fight with them, but in terms of uploading on Bitch Shoot, it was a pain in the Bitch Shoot. So, but I, I'm glad to kind of dive into the last two episodes of these uh, of these specials. They are very fun. Again, nothing too plot heavy. It's all about character interaction, relationship dynamics. Um, it just is about it's just about adding more richness and, and uh, to the storyline to the world. And these ovas do a great job of that. So without further ado, again, on YouTube, no sound, partial image, just countdown timers if you want to follow along, you can't miss them. Let's dive right in. Ooh, it's Thorn. Oh! Do we actually get to see how he got out? Or is this something else? What's that, TV? So this is Otaku. Mm. Oh, did he end up back in prison? Ooh, that's a jacked up, terrible looking prison. My whistle, my whistle's not the same. There's a reason he's love of what he is. He is crazy powerful. Just left.
They'll tear you up. So it looks like crap, but they have quite an interesting infrastructure in place. Big Brother's watching! Betty Pretty Pretty Prisoner! That's the monster. A weird TV monster. He destroyed, boop, like that. And what does he, does he go back? Buddy! Oh, I wonder if his consciousness... Uh-oh, power outage. Transferred to the... Nope, just cause a power outage. Power's out. Uh-oh. That's good, but it's also bad. Oh, no! A lot of them got out. Shoot. That's what motivates him, of course it does. We really haven't gotten to see his face all that much this episode, weirdly enough. So he'll look, he'll round him up, bring him back, and then go back into the um, prison. That's the kind of relationship he has. It's like Hancock. So he, what, he just breaks out when he needs to be a hero and then comes back? Mm. When's that gonna happen? Drinking beers, eating beans and apples. Ooh. He's been slowly rounding them up, hasn't he? Ooh. Just. Ugh. Do not want those lips anywhere near me. Yay! Little Sonic. <laughs> little Sonic. I was expecting him during these ovas. He is a strange creature. His name is weird too. That's right, I forgot about that. Mm. Oh, okay. Nope, Ch not him, just not him. <laughs> that man is weird. <laughs> Sentiments exactly. He's slowly picking them off. Very patient. Yeah. Oh gosh, what did he do to him? Jeez. Oh, that's what is that. No, 
must have been it must have been just one day. Oh, it's like a weird serpent thing. Yeah. Threat level tiger. It's pretty high. Is he? Huh. So he was one of the ones that uh survived. Well, bye bye. That was that was an impressive landing, I had to say. Squish, boom. I don't think they want to be your honeys. But I don't know who they're more scared of, him or them. He is class F. And four. Yep, of course he would get his own. And he's naked. <sighs> I cannot stand this creature. Oh gosh. Oh, that's awkward. I would not want to be where that guy's head is. He held back on you, honey. Yeah, cause that was easy for him. Yeah, they don't want anywhere near him. I get that. <laughs> Strategic placing. Oh, that is awful. Yeah, he was talking to you earlier. Honey, you should have. His pride's hurt, man. I know. That is a weird dude to lose to. He doesn't understand his weirdness. They want the sea creature to win. <laughs> and he thinks about him. Well, at least it was just punches this time. Now he's dead. I don't understand his hair. Yeah. Okay, that was an episode. Um, God, she wears me out so badly. Uh, I guess that's the point, because he is one of those characters that just makes you just go, I don't know how to take this thing. <laughs> they, uh, they do not like him. He unnerves them so much. But that was a nice little cameo by just, you know, Santa Sonic, Speed of Sonic, or Santa Sonic, Speed of Sonic. Um, that was surprising. And this was definitely early on for him, especially considering his hair is still long, which I much appreciate. Uh, gosh, that really could have, that particular one could have taken place anywhere. That could have been in season one. Uh, no, it was a jail. He escaped. Season two. That was post-Rain. So... That would have been after facing 
No, that would have been... Shoot. No. Fighting, yes. Season 2 was when we fought the Sea King. Yes. Not season 1. So, it would have been post fighting the Sea King. Okay. I know where I am now. That makes sense with the rain and everything. I don't know why I kept thinking season one was the Sea King, but it wasn't. It wasn't at all. Well, we have one more episode to react to. Again, countdown timer. You can't miss it. We'll just, uh, we'll just dive right in. Oh, we got snow. Oh, that sounds like Child Emperor. Metal about. That little zombie man. I love zombie man. I don't know much about him, but I like his design. It's very simple. He's like handsome, but not like rugged handsome, but not pretty handsome. Hi, guys. Okay. Again, we're getting a big amount of cast sold from Child Emperor's mind. He's a thinker. I swear, y'all call Zombie Man again. <laughs> it's nice seeing more of the muscles guy. Though his design is interesting. He does just rhyme me, though, heavily of... Oh, shoot. I always forget his name. That wrestling anime with the big lips. I love Metal Bat, though. I love his design. I just, he's clean cut. I was like, that looks like Santa Speed of Sonic. Again, long hair, so... When would that have taken place? But why are the other guys there? That's not what they're doing, buddy. Oh, honey, you all die from hypothermia. He fall through the glass? Spike run? Speed of sound. Speed of- oh, speed of sound. No. No. That's some kind guys, right? They're taking care of him. They're so nice. A little space heater and everything. That was a space heater. Did you, buddy? Because they brought you in and now they're feeding you, trying to give you a tea and a blanket. That's so nice of them. They're so kind. And Zombie Man's drinking what? Looks like rum or scotch. He's always eating. Very much a bodybuilder. There we go. He's just reading a manga. He has a shirt like that? Of course he would get out. He probably didn't tie you very well. He will. <laughs> He's such a dummy. <laughs> oh, they really don't like each other. That wasn't Saitama. And that certainly wasn't, um... What is Child Emperor dressed in the little cat? 
didn't get killed again. Stop doing this to him! It was a weird inside moment. Again. That was fast. Faster than the uh, sword. Makes things a little easier. That was a gas explosion. He's not speed of sound. He's so fast. I guess they really did try him well. <laughs> so cool! You can't handle the cold inside, buddy. No. It came from the inside. It's probably just a gas leak or something because of what they were up to. He blew himself up. So this might be an actual case where he was the one who caused his own issue issues. This is ridiculous. I can't believe he's wearing a sleeping cap. This is an old man in a child's body. That's true. This time. Boom. He sneezed. Why would he kill Zombie Man with an explosion? He loves his sword. He's taking him well. That's not where we want to go here. He was with Metal Bat. Now you know. <laughs> Takes care of himself then. He ended up. Isn't there supposed to be a monster there after? You guys are idiots. Oh, him! I totally forgot about him. It wasn't him. He was showering and being vain. Oh my gosh, she's so much electricity. That looks good. Need some good food. No, stop that. I just love his design so much. Good for you. Now you're turning it on to Zombie Man? I think it was an accident, man. They are looking for a monster. It's none of them. Ooh, threat level demon. No. Oh. So, not a shapeshifter. Just a big old fluff of muscle. I told you it was an accident. The 
gas explosions? That thing? Especially with some stuff came off of him. Yeah, y'all did. Boom. Told you it was an accident. Yeah, now I'm just like, it's not even funny anymore. Not really, buddy. Even Speed of Sam got involved. Good for him. Co conspirator. <laughs> just want to make sure we, like, oh my gosh. Alright, these last two episodes were actually really, really fun. The first four were really good, too. I feel like I was talking this time. The These last two were so much fun. <laughs> Anything with Pretty Pretty Prisoner is awkward and uncomfortable, but it's still a good time. Uh, just because he's so... flamboyant. Uh, not camp. Camp's not a term for him. But he is definitely adds it, he adds color <laughs> to the storyline which makes him actually a very fun character to have uh in terms of writing he um just makes everybody uncomfortable uh which is just equal opportunity right there <laughs> uh but it, he is a fun character um and he just adds a lot of fun to the writing so i always appreciate that um, what makes him fun and a good addition is his personality, his abilities, which are the forefront of his characterization. His design is weird, but it's supposed to be. Uh, and that's what makes him very fun. With this episode, this was gonna, again an ensemble cast, but a smaller one. But this time, my theory of, of it being an accident was right. Because last time with, the, with the everybody, it was like, oh, I, I bet he just fell on it by accident. That would, uh, it ended up just being a child, metaphorically speaking, drunk, stabbing him because she's stupid. It was spurred on by Saitama in, in a way. And this time it was just a legitimate accident. It was like, it just seemed like it came from the inside. It's probably just an accident. Especially when he said the lighter thing. And I was like, well, now I know how it happened. I don't know if dust explosions are real, real real but in a in a show that kind of stretches reality a lot uh it is what it is but it was nice having uh speed of sound in this these two episodes especially this one it's always nice to have him i really enjoy his character you know what i guess if i had a favorite character it wouldn't be speed of sound i was thinking about this it's like i don't have a favorite One Punch Man character. No, I do. And Speed of Sound. I have noticed, though, on a side note, uh, uh, again, fun episode, great acting, character interactions, fun, solid, good time. But I have noticed that when I'm thinking about all of my favorite characters, they all have black hair. Every one of them. Or dark hair, depending on the show. My favorite Meyer Academia characters are, my favorite girl is Momo. She's my top fave. Black hair. Hiroshima. Dyed redhead. But black hair originally um but he's dyed redhead so i don't know if he fully counts but my mom's my fave laid back camp rin dark hair blue black hair this one's speed of sound black hair um who's my favorite in Oran high school host club It probably is, oh, I'm blanking on all of their names now, but our, it might be our nerdy guy. Um, that, or it's a tall, strong, silent type. I can't remember their names, I'm blanking on them right now. Black hair. <laughs> I've noticed this, all my favorites have black hair. Uh, Kim Possible, not an anime. Shigo, black hair. <laughs> all of them have black hair. Favorite... Favorite 
now I haven't seen Digimon in a long time, so I don't remember any of my characters. I probably, my favorite, if I did have a favorite one, it was probably a Digimon, which doesn't really count. Uh, with my favorite characters in, 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 uh, Pokemon was a mixture between Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy with mainly Officer Jenny, black hair, blue hair, but black hair. Now, I do have an exception to the rule. Um, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character outside of the Pharaoh was, which usually my favorite characters aren't the main characters, is Mai, the blonde, the one who kind of pokes at Joey a lot. I think her name is Mai. Maybe. I can't remember. But she's my favorite. Now, she's an exception because she's blonde. But I liked her personality. Uh, but I kept noticing that, too, as I was watching animes. I was like, black hair, black hair, black hair, black hair, black hair, black hair. It's like, they all have black hair. <laughs> I noticed that for all of them. Uh, I gotta think more about animes and cartoons um, in terms of my favorites. And maybe it comes down to my favorite, well, my all-time favorite characters being Superman. Black hair, maybe, maybe that's it. Or maybe as a blonde. I just like the opposite hair colors. But it, it, it's not even their looks, it's their personalities. I love Metal Bat, though. So my two favorites are probably Metal Bat and Santa Sonic. Again, black hair. <laughs> I noticed that. Each one, I'm just like... Uh, I just, it's just something I wanted to bring up because I just noticed it. But I'm done for the night, for sure. I've got other things to get done. I promised some people we would... Because I was sick during Christmas Eve, couldn't make gingerbread houses... But I can now. So uh, we're going to go make some for New Year's Eve. But thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with your enemies. And I'll see you next time.